enemy taken out. Damn. New Jersey. Hello, I'm Justin. Good to see you guys. I hope that you're doing well. There is nine minutes and 20 seconds left until Sentinels of Light and Chrome Deck are gone for good. There is a brand new skin collection coming out that you may have heard of called the Overdrive Collection. We have quite a bit of things to say about it as well. Uh, we're going to showcase all of it. We're going to cut straight to it. Alrighty, we have about 10 seconds left until both these collections are gone and we are introduced to the Overdrive Collection. Five seconds. Nothing in the store. <laughs> and there's Overdrive. It's there. Also, is this the luckiest store you guys have ever seen? Uh, like the video if you want your store to be as lucky as mine. But we have better things to be talking about currently, and that is the Overdrive Collection coming in at 8,700 VP, as well being rated as a exclusive edition skin. First and foremost, what I want to say is that there is eight items in total, five skins, three peripheral items, including a buddy, a card, and a spray. Spray in particular is really, really cool. I dig this a lot. You guys probably already know by now but the five skins in total are the stinger the sheriff the vandal the bucky and a katana it's all fully upgradable stuff and there is some elements to all this stuff but we're going to get into all of it and fully upgrade all the stuff as we usually do so let's stop talking about it let's do it 8700 vp down the drain just like this nice we're going to favorite all this stuff nice here it all is in the collection. You can see that the base variant is a very pretty red color for the overdrive. And with this collection in particular, you're going to notice that it's um, halfway themed off of cars, I guess. And there are some special elements to this. As you can see, like there's a screen right here. Once we fully upgrade this, there's going to be like a speedometer that's on it. Something like that. We'll see. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet, but we will get into it. Three upgrades in total for 30 Rainy Night, plus three additional variants at 15 a piece. They're robbing us blind as usual. What is special about a collection like this coming out this time around is it's supposed to supposedly people really excited come with this variant right here which at first glance on twitter or wherever you get your news for this game from people will be like oh there's finally pink skins in this game um kind of i think it's debatable that this is a pink skin it's not really pink whatsoever like it, it has pink on it but this is not an entirely pink skin it is a step in the right direction and i know a lot of people out there including myself are going to be very happy with this but it is not, in fact, a like genuinely just all pink skin, as people have been requesting. In fact, the literal name of the skin is Bubblegum. And it's not to discredit this as a pink or not pink skin whatsoever. This is quite literally Bubblegum. But my sort of one gripe with this is that if you take a look at this variant, you can very, very easily compare it to Glitch Pop. Like, this is kind of just like a Glitch Pop, like 2.5, 3.0, arguably. As a matter of fact, the first thing that we're going to upgrade is the Overdrive Vandal. So let's do that. Now we're going to buy some more Radiantite. Now we're going to upgrade to this pink variant, the bubblegum variant. Favorite, equip. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and equip the Glitch Pop Phantom. Look at these two skins next to each other. Arguably very, very similar. If we take this and we put it on this variant, it's way too similar in my opinion. And like, just again, it's not like a gripe necessarily. But when you look at this skin, this is Glitch Pop. We all know it. We all love it. It's one of the earliest skin collections in the entire game. And we look at Overdrive, which just came out today. It's so similar in like every way, dude. Like we're not just talking about the pink variant, but go to this red variant here. It has like stickers all over it and stuff like that. What I want to pay close attention to right now is look at that. There's a little speedometer on it. When we're in game, you'll notice that it goes up when we fire, but it's cool to note right here in the inventory. I almost forgot. We're going to put on the buddy for this as well. I'm curious to see if it changes colors with the variants. It does. Pretty cool. So this is the overdrive buddy, and this is the pink variant that we have on. So that's really, really cool. This is like actually a pink buddy. We take it and we switch it back to the red variant. Look at that. It matches. Um, likewise, it'll do it with the cobalt variant, which I think this is a really, really cool variant. And then for the onyx variant, it turns it black. I think that this skin is really, really great, and there's a lot of cool elements about it because it's not just supposed to be like a racing type skin. I think an amalgamation of a lot of really cool skins that we like. It has a lot of elements of things like Glitch Pop, like I said, and like Prelude to Chaos with the electricity that comes out when you brandish this and things like that. Elements of RGX with the screen here, I think that's pretty cool. We'll put it back on the pink variant though. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the Overdrive Blade. One upgrade in total, as per usual. There it is, fully upgraded cool stuff when we go to the range i am going to have this on level one so we can see what this looks like so i'm going to set that to level one for now and we have some other items here that i think will probably kind of be pretty popular um the sheriff for sure i think will be a fan favorite who doesn't love a sheriff skin honestly like you can't really go wrong with it so long as it has upgrades so i guess we'll upgrade it cool 
this is insane looking like it's just kind of crazy in my opinion like are people gonna buy this uh if they're not buying the entire set it's up to you guys entirely we'll get into that later on and then there is obviously a bucky as well here it is fully upgraded it's interesting to note with this skin collection as well that I draw the comparison to Glitch Pop. If we think about all the Glitch Pop stuff that there is in this game, I'll equip all of it right now. I think it's pretty cool and pretty interesting. And the set of weapons that they chose for this, all being stuff that Glitch Pop doesn't already have weapons for aside from the Vandal, I think is pretty cool. However, let's go into the range and check all this stuff out now. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to put on the spray. This is a cool spray. I really like this a lot okay so here we are look at that pullout dude oh yeah i forgot we have a level one okay i'm gonna be quiet so this is the level one version of the katana I think that's pretty sweet and again with a lot of the melees that have been coming out recently i think that a pretty cool part of it as long as you're okay with not having variants for this stuff um you could save your radiant on all this stuff like and again i know people like their variants and like will get this stuff to have a particular variant but if you're maybe strapped for radiantite and like you have an even amount of vp somehow to just get the melee like it might be worth to just save the radiantite on this you know very cool you can hear and see it quite literally getting overcharged let's take a replay at that so you can see the charge effect on the meter all right let's do some swinging very 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 cool effects in my opinion i love the electricity on it and i love the sounds i think the sounds have been nailed pretty hard with it it feels very impactful when you swing this take a look at that pull out Kind of just like slicing the hand right open there, dude. Look at this. When you do this with the RGX Katana, like it's folding out. So like obviously that wouldn't hurt your hand. But with this, it's just like full on slice. That's all right though. Let's uh, smoke some bot or slice some bot rather. Cut some bot. Nice. Alrighty, next up, what I'm excited to see is this and this. You can hear the overdrive on it. Also, I just want to say the buddy on this, like, when you look at it, like, without sort of the context of the rest of the skins, um, it's kind of ugly. And I was like, oh, that's not really a cool buddy. But now that it's actually on this skin, very hype, very fire. The charge up sound really sweet, too. Let's do some pullouts. Interesting to note, you can see the little speedometer there going up when you pull it out. Oh, actually, I kind of like this ADS. Wow. It's a little bit unique for an ADS. Like, sort of an interesting take on it. Like, I guess it's supposed to be like a um, the speedometer, basically. Firing sound. Very surprising. Love those pink tracers and the pink electricity that comes out of it. Let's take a look to see what the bullets look like. Nice. Looks white from my perspective, but we'll see in the slow-mo. You'll see that every time you fire, the speedometer goes up there to 99 MPH. I dig it. But next, we're going to look at this bad boy, the Sheriff, that has the stupid Sentinels of Light Buddy on it. Okay, actually. That's a little bit insane, that Brandish. See the pullout again? This is actually a really solid Sheriff skin. Like, I I'm a little bit surprised. Like, I know, again... People love their sheriff skins, and like you, like I said earlier, you can't go wrong with it necessarily. But this one is kind of just like a winner, dude. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let's uh, let's fire it and listen to it and stuff like that. But definitely leave a comment down below. Is this a winner, or am I just kind of hyping this up a little too much? Whoo! Sheesh. The firing sounds, the look of it. All of it, honestly, just kind of incredible.
I like it. This is honestly kind of just like a glitch pop vandal for dudes. <laughs> like, I know it's kind of a weird way to put it, but um, somebody out there will sort of hopefully understand what I'm saying. Stinger. Level one. And we have the Bucky, which, you know, also, you know, kind of cool for what it is. Um, I think shape-wise, it has a very similar shape to the Xeno Hunter Bucky. Like, like it literally looks like a reskinned Xeno Hunter, which is kind of interesting. You know, you may be asking, like, why don't you have the stuff upgraded? Um, do we really need to have, like, another upgraded Bucky? I know people want this, but, like, do I need another upgraded Bucky? In this economy, probably not. Same with the Stinger, too. And, you know, we're going to get into, like, what's worth upgrading and what's not once we're back at the inventory. Here's the part of the video where I show everything in left-handed mode. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to do it. Let's run a swift play and see if we can get that finisher up on the screen for you. Oh, yeah, here's the spray. Nice. Hello. I hit that guy. Hello. There's the finisher. Really intense. It, like, explodes. Um, my one gripe with this that I saw uh, sort of online, you know, on Twitter and whatnot, is that it's a little bit quick, which is fine. But, um, you know, it's pretty crazy that it just explodes like that. I do believe as well that the finishers change with the variants that you're using. Here's the pink finisher on screen for you right now. My ultimate is ready. One enemy remaining. Last enemy taken out. Damn. New Jersey. Everybody in this game is a paid actor, by the way. Turn down. Spike down. Attacker spawn. Spike down. Mid. If he can hear. Last player standing. One enemy Three remaining. Down. Explode quick. Let's go. Win. GG's for a good man. GG. That's like the first time I've ever done good on this game ever. Um. Anyways, we have things to talk about here. The Overdrive Collection. Overdrive Vandal is a top tier item. I really love how this looks and how this feels. It felt clean to use. Not just because I had a good game with it, but... I think it really is, like, a pretty special skin. The variants are all really solid. Like, I think this time around, they really chose, like, what people um, expect and what they like. Uh, people like a black and red variant for things. People have been wanting a pink variant, quote-unquote. Uh, and, you know, people just love the standard, like, colors that they expect, like, blue and, like, red. What is worth it with this collection? Uh, you know, we're just taking a look here at all the variants right now so you guys don't miss out on all of it. But uh, just sort of off of a glance here, the stuff that's worth it to me for sure... I don't know if I would consider the katana to be worth it because you might already have a katana. But if you don't, then this may be one that you could consider. Vandal, I think for sure is worth it. Sheriff, this honestly is probably a must cop. And I would especially recommend this to people who actually really enjoy using the sheriff at all. Like if you like using the sheriff and you already have a sheriff skin, I think that this would be really good in your rotation of just sheriff skins that you may or may not have. 
for the Stinger and the Bucky, I have sort of the same opinion on both. Like, uh, you're probably better off just getting other things for it. Um, you know, maybe something cheaper. Like, I don't really see the value in this. Like, it's not to say that this stuff looks bad, but just sort of for what it is, like, the value might not be there for you. And, you know, it's fine. Like, truly. Like, this is really cool stuff. But, you know, these weapons, like, especially the Bucky, like, it's not, there's not a point to using the Bucky. Like, why would you ever use the Bucky when you could just use the Sheriff? But I think the weakest parts of this whole set is going to be the Bucky because it's just sort of unnecessary. And likewise, it's going to be the Katana because the other options might be better for you. Really, though, I think, as always, like I say, it comes down to your preference and what you like. And I'm going to leave it off with you guys are you going to be getting anything from the set are you going to be buying the entire set what are your thoughts about this and how did this rank for you is this a cop or a drop i would love to see some discussion about this in the comments below i love you guys and as always i'm justin and you're not like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new and click the bell for notifications Cultivate, let that word go and resonate. Dominate your mind if you need me. I can demonstrate. Set this up the rhythm and forget about your mistakes. Let it go, let it go. Let it go.